So I found this and I love Hamilton. So I thought I would try it out. <laughs> okay, let's start. I don't know if there's music on here. <clears throat> I've only been in New York for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Workload is already piling up. <laughs> Soon, I just won't have any free time. Maybe I should take a break. But where could I go? <laughs> go to the courthouse, go to the pub, go to the gardens, meet your neighbors, stay home and write. Go to the gardens. Didn't Hamilton cheat? Yes, he did. <laughs> I approached the entrance of the park and overheard three women talking amongst themselves. <laughs> so bad. What should I do? Introduce yourself, make eye contact, avoid them. Make eye contact. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so weird. My eyes wander toward Trio as I pass and make eye contact with the girls. Each of them seem very unique, but look vaguely similar. Perhaps I will meet them again in the future. I tore my gaze away from the ladies and continued on through the garden. I had hoped to unwind and get fresh air in the garden, but now my mind is filled with thoughts of her and what I could have said. At least I'm out of the house. Some birds screech in the distance. It is really peaceful out here. I should come by more often. Ladies? More like ladies nuts. Got them. The sun is starting to set now. I should head home. It's been an exhausting day. I should probably check some of my mail. And closed in the bundle was an invitation to the ball. I guess I should really get out more. There will also probably, probably be many prosperous people. But is that really enough to go to the gala? Go to the ball, Hamilton. The ball would probably be the best place to meet new people. Perhaps some will know more about the war. Lafayette, Hercules, and John also joined me in coming to the ball. <gasps> what are we supposed to do exactly? Just think of something to do and have a good time, my friend. Hang out with your friends, explore the building, scope out the party, walk outside. Uh, scope out the party. The party had many people of different backgrounds, but some people were obviously of a higher status. In the center of the ballroom, there was a crowd of people. I could barely tell what was going on. I don't know who made this, but it is less than I expected. <laughs> there seemed to be many people staring at a woman in red. There were small huddles of people near her, but she seemed to be standing by herself. It looked lonely. <laughs> we locked eyes as I approached. Hi. Angelica Schuyler. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you up to? I'm just entertaining guests. So it was you who masterminded this party. Diana Rudra. <laughs> it's true, it's not a Rudra. <laughs> it is like the picture quality is so bad. Haha, <laughs> you jest. It was my father, of course. Uh, I see. Not your husband, then, I guess. Her arm is cut off, it is. No, it's hard to see what would give you that impression. She looked over my shoulder, but I couldn't see what she was looking at. Is something behind me? No. Come with me. She grabbed my arm. Where are you taking me? To meet your wife. Oh, I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. <laughs> this is part of the song! She leads me towards a woman in blue. Oh my god, this is like the song! <laughs> she looked friendly enough. I wonder who she is. This is my sister, Eliza. How do you do? Fairly well. I'm Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton, Hamilton. Where's your family from? 
unimportant. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> this reminds me of the time you acted on that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done. Now I have Mel do the whole musical. I could probably do a good chunk of it because I listen to Hamilton songs all the time. Show chat, no. I don't even have a link to the clip, but I guess if anyone has it, I don't even, I feel like it's hard to find. That's certainly ambitious. That's my philosophy, that only those who aren't satisfied will amount to anything. I knew you guys would get along just fine. It was so good. Thank you, Marshmallow. It seems so, at least. I'll excuse myself. Ask Angelica to stay. Let her leave. Angelica left us with a pained look on her face. I don't know what that meant to her. It was just Eliza and I now. We're all alone now. Yes, would you like to go someplace else? It's a little loud here, don't you agree? Yeah, we could head to the balcony if you wish. That sounds pleasant. A little silly, isn't it? It's nothing I can't handle. Nonsense, take my coat. This is so warm, how can you stand it all the time? It never seemed hot until now. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Do you think about the future? Like what will happen after the war? When we no, no longer have to worry about violence and war. I suspect we'll live normal lives. Marry someone, have children, be happy. That's what everyone says, isn't it? What do you say? I say that everything is pointless without the right person by your side. You sound very wise. I guess it would seem so. We talked on the balcony until the party was over. I gave her my address in case she's ever liked to write. The party had been great, but it was nice to finally unwind. I was about to doze off next to a considerably large stack of letter. That was until I heard a quiet tapping on my door. It was so faint I could barely make out what had happened. Despite that, whether I should actually answer was up for debate. It's already nighttime. If it's important, they could just stop by tomorrow. How can you ignore someone tapping on your door at night? You have to answer the door, Hamilton. I slowly opened the door to see who could possibly want my attention at this hour. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, I'm sorry to intrude like this. It's okay, but whatever could inspire you to come to my door in the middle of the night? <laughs> True, it's bad. It's a long story. I'd be happy to hear it. I open the door to let her inside. Please make yourself at home. I'll make some tea. Thank you for your hospitality. Nonsense, you look chill to the bone out there. <laughs> oh, he has a nice place. And it's daylight outside, even though it's the middle of the night. <laughs> we sat down in two cushioned chairs in the living room. So, why exactly did you walk over? You see, my husband, James, he's a nice guy. You didn't meet him the other day. But trust me, he's a great guy. He doesn't mean to do anything, but sometimes he'll come home from a tough day at work and he will start drinking. Oh. And then it makes him angry and I just had to get away. You were the only person I could think of coming to. It's all right, calm down. I'm sorry, it's just so stressful and I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Invite her to bed, offer her tea. Wow. Would you like some tea now? That would be great. It's really funny how <laughs> some characters are like cartoons and some are 
the worst quality picture. <laughs> I handed her some tea. You could spend the night here if you want to. I have extra blankets upstairs. It wouldn't be a hassle to bring them. That's very kind of you, but that won't be needed. James just needed some time to cool down. If you say so, just know you will always be welcome here. May I stay a little while longer? As long as you want. You're so kind. It's just my civic duty. You're too modest. You are a really great man. You honor me. Maria looked at the clock I had on the table. Oh my, look at the time. It's nearly 1 a.m. Ha ha, how the time flies. I must be going now. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Don't forget to stop by. You're always welcome. And with the last wave, she left. <laughs> wow, he makes his bed. I woke up early enough to hear the birds singing, which was a first for me. With my eyes drooping, I went to my kitchen to drink some coffee. Despite its possible implications as a business beverage, I simply love indulging on it first thing in the morning. Same. Today would be a good day. I could feel it. There wasn't much on the horizon today. I could easily get away with just about anything. Go to the courthouse, go to the pub, go to the gardens, meet your neighbors. Let's go to the pub. There was a knocking at the door. Who could it be? Is it Maria again? George Washington? <laughs> Salutations, Hamilton. General, good to see you again. What brings you by so early in the morning? I've barely had time to drink my coffee. We have business to discuss, and besides, who's ever heard of drinking coffee in the morning? That act, that very act is laughable. No way, it's the one dollar bill! <laughs> I'd appreciate an explanation. May I sit down? This may take a while. Be my guest. I understand you've been wanting to rise above your station, and I might just have the occupation for you. Washington laid down a few files from a package. We need you, son. The lieutenant colonel position is open. I can't think of anyone else better suited in terms of st strategic writing abilities. Only one dollar! You expect me to be your secretary? I don't think so. Young man, we need you now. I saw when you stole British cannons while we were still downtown, and I need someone like you to lighten the load. Son, I want you to be my right-hand man. Will you do it? It's the quarter, dude. <laughs> Must you even ask? Then I expect to see you there. Good day. Bye. I am in for a rough ride. Oh, I'm finally here. Everyone is so busy. Washington said that my tent was just around the corner. Sorry. Lawrence. No problem. We're pals, right? John, I haven't seen you for so long. Are you stationed star starshin tier two? <laughs> in fact, we're in the same tent. Hamilton sent him a quizzical brow. I checked the rosters when I got here. Is there anyone else here with us? Just one. Hello, tent mates. Burr, sir. <laughs> Can we confer, sir? The same as you, I want to rise up. Mr. Ramos, oh my god. He's, he's in the new um, Transformers movie. I saw the commercial during the Super Bowl. Surprised anyone like you could even have ambitions. Gentlemen, calm down. We still have work to do. We can't just start fighting every time we see each other. I was attempting to put the past behind me and make peace by inviting you to the campfire the other soldiers were hosting. I heard of that too. It would probably be best to get f familiar with the rest of the people stationed here too. I'll go to it. In the Heights? Oh my god, I need to watch that movie. That's also on my list. And you, Alexander? Fine. That's great. <laughs> what the heck is this? Everyone was laughing and drinking. Everything felt warm like home. I'll go get us drinks. Why don't you guys sit down? Sounds like a plan. Here, Alex. Sit down. Thanks. I have to say, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I could say the same. I thought you would be off in some blank or something. Guess your opinion has changed since we first met. John gave a hearty laugh. 
This bonfire is meant to be a bond fire. Ha ha ha. Everyone around us laughed with him. You're right, Lawrence. Today is meant to cut loose and get to know each other. Cheers. To our freedom. To the revolution. And the hope that you provide, you provide, you provide. <laughs> to all of us. The rest of the night went off without a hitch. The soldiers were jolly and I could feel that while I just arrived, we all held a sense of camaraderie towards one another. Maybe this experience will turn out better than I expected. The trio went back to the tent for some well-deserved rest. The end. Aww. <laughs> that was interesting. 